now we know we learn programming to interact with systems and what is the need to interact with systems automation automation reduces the manual task it reduces the cost of creation the time for creation and most important it reduces the errors so the next question arises who will interact with systems the developers like us will interact with systems and how to interact with systems by system programs also known as jobs or task a job is a set of instruction which can perform a single task and these jobs are technically known as functions or methods in the last lecture we saw that in the editor we write code this code is known as source code which consists of program instructions these instructions are highly human readable and understandable the file in which we write source code is known as source file and in python the source file is saved with the extension .py or .py a language which is very close to machine is known as low level language in low level language syntax are less readable and a language which is close to humans is high level language in high level language we can easily understand the syntax written in a language when program instructions are highly human readable then it is called high level language for example if we want to write a program to print hello world then in assembly language our code will look like this whereas in python it is a simple single line statement this is because assembly language is low level language and python is high level language python is a general purpose language and it is used for all the basic purpose it is used for making stand alone applications means applications which we need to install in our machine and it is also used for making web applications means the applications which can be accessed by typing the url in the search engine also python is dynamically typed that means we do not need to declare the type of variable we only need to initialize its value for example int a is equal to 32 will be wrong in python and we have to write a is equal to 32 